fireworks, you guys, fireworks. Mavericks always puts on a show when big swells track toward the San Mateo County coast. Each wave presents a gamble that rewards skilled surfers with a thrill of a lifetime or severe punishment leading to imminent danger. While the amazing rides highlight each surf day, a safety team has been emerging over the past six years. Come in here and swap with me. Help look for his board, please. Someone else on the inside. Are they clear? Got one guy deep in the pit. At least two. The Mavericks rescue team is a tight-knit group of eight volunteer locals sharing a passion for the ocean. They devote their time and energy to learn more about best rescue practices in Big Sur. It's got float material in inside them, the actual rope. We caught up with the group while they were organizing their equipment at their base camp, the Pillar Point Harbor. Clear. Frank Chiarte is the team manager. He has been patrolling this part of the coast since the 90s. Train every year as much as possible. Every surf session out there is a training session for us. So you're right, it is. it does take a certain skill and a choreography to it, but it's something that we've mastered over the years. They utilize personal watercraft and rescue sleds on a surf day. Since Mavericks is a marine sanctuary, personal watercraft are only allowed under high surf conditions in the winter. While the ocean might resemble chaos, they have a strategy to maneuver in and out of danger. When someone does fall and someone's going in for a pickup, we always have someone else shadowing so that if they miss them, then there's someone else in a position to get them. It's intense, but there's also, you know, a calmness to it. Everything, there's, there's crazy stuff happening all around you, but, you know, if you can just keep your, your mental headspace calm and clear and kind of like slow, slow down when everyone else is speeding up. Each incoming swell is unique and introduces different challenges. Preparation never stops. We usually don't get much sleep the night before a big swell and half of that's just watching the wind and the weather and seeing how it develops and all of the logistics that go into providing safety. While safety crews are working in the very dangerous conditions in the surf zone, there's another set of eyes up here on this cliff providing a very different perspective. Meet Eric W. Nelson, the designated wave spotter. When Mavericks is breaking, he hikes up this cliff with camera gear and a radio. My running joke is I'm afraid of water and I'm afraid to swim. So I said, how can I, how can I help out? And they said, you're on the cliff, keep an eye on things. Rider down, guy got swallowed. Eric, you got a board? You spot a loose board? Not yet, I'm focused on the sky and the outside. After set waves roll through, there can be a lot to survey. Eric paints the big picture that only he can see. There is constant communication with team members and the Harbor Patrol. We had a, a set wave come through, it was like six, seven waves in the set, and four of the guys got taken out. Well, the rescue guys only thought that there was three guys going through the rocks, and I was able to spot that fourth guy. They are like, are we clear? I go, nope, there's another guy in there. Slap up and over, boom, and then you're down underwater. Taylor Paul, an experienced surfer from San Francisco, was on the rescue sled after a bad fall on this wave last year. I was so out of breath, I was so gassed that I was, uh, I wasn't, I was just gonna let the waves take me through the rocks. During the rescue, after coughing up blood, Taylor could hear radio chatter. He realized he was being watched from the beginning. They were coordinating where they were gonna pick me up. Um, and how and if I was okay and where I was. And it just was like, it, it struck me how professional the whole thing was and how on it those guys are. When the waves go flat, the team stays busy. Unified with other local agencies, they lead a free water safety summit every fall to educate the public. The whole community is invited, ranging from expert surfers to casual beach visitors. We'll have the patrol boats with the rescue watercraft with the Mavericks Water Patrol. We'll have Air Station in San Francisco with a helicopter, and we'll run through some drills that would be real life scenarios should it happen, so we're all better prepared. From two feet to 20 feet, their hard work is making a difference. I'm proud of these guys for sure, 100%. Um, just the dedication that they put in, like it's not an easy task. Just experiencing those kind of amazingly giant and crazy and beautiful deadly waves that come through here is part of what makes us love what we do. Mark Tamayo, KTVU, Fox 2 News.